This morning, a local shelter is having to cut its budget, forcing out more than 100 women and children who live there. And 13 Action News reporter Marissa Kiniston spoke to a woman who is now forced to move out. I hadn't slept in a bed in three and a half years. After being homeless for years, Barbara Mole was able to move into the shade tree until she could get back on her feet. But now she and dozens of other women and children are being forced to move out. It's hard, you know, it, it, it breaks your heart. The Shade Tree announced they're cutting funding to their transitional housing. That means 160 people living at the Shade Tree long term now have to move out in a matter of weeks. And the Shade Tree is blaming finances. They do receive federal grants and funding, but the main problem comes with private funding. Officials say they just haven't received enough donations and they haven't done as many fundraisers as they needed. Now, women like Mole are scrambling. It would just be such a shame. This shade tree has given so much to the community, and, and now they need help. Half of these beds will be empty in the next few weeks, but Shade Tree says hopefully with the help of the community, they can open them back up in the future. If you want more information on their campaign, you can visit our website, ktnv.com. Marissa Keniston, 13 Action News.